So now that we've added our assets and our packages, let's go on ahead and start creating our UI for our registration. So for that, let's come back to our, let's minimize this. We come back to our lib here and then we right click, we create a new directory. This will be for authentication. Authentication. Let's right click over here and create a new dot file. Let's say, say the first one, let's uh, call it a registration. Screen. And then let's import the material package. We can create a stateful widget. We are going to name it registration screen. Here, let's uh, return a scaffold. We can remove this constant. So, uh, this scaffold, let's give it a body, which is going to be the safe area. And then the safe area will have a child, we'll give it a single child scroll view. And then uh, the single child scroll view, we can have a child of a center widget. And then uh, the center widget will also have a child. Let's uh, give it a column. Uh, maybe let's wrap uh, this column with our padding widget and then for the padding let's give it a symmetric for vertical we'll give it 25 and then for horizontal let's give it 35 and then the column will have children uh, so the first child is going to be a container. Uh, let's give this container some decoration. We have a box decoration. We have a border. Border dot O. Then let's, uh, we can give it the color this uh, let's give it a black color and then the width we can maybe two the border radius we're going to give it a huge border radius because we want to make sure this is round so let's give it something like 90 and then uh, this container who have a child which will be a secular avatar. Let's give this a radius of, uh, uh, let's say, 80. And then let's now give it a background image. So for the background image, we are going to give it our image from our assets. Let's create a service class first. We right click on our lib and then directory. Let's create the service. And then let's right click here. Then we create that file. And then let's call it uh, assets manager. And then we say class. Assets Manager. First, let's create a static uh, string, which will be um, first. Let's get the image path. 
this one we know that it's a asset uh, slash images this is where we are getting all our images and then now for the specific image again we'll call static string which is going to be maybe uh, user icon we are going to first we take the image path and then after from the image path we have a uh, uh, what we name it user icon user icon dot png just like that so this is where we're getting our user icon we can go ahead and uh, close that and then back here back on our background image we can call our assets image assets that's the asset image here we'll call our asset manager okay, our new asset manager the one that we just created dot user icon okay so let's switch back to our light theme and then to see our registration screen we need to go back to our main.dat and instead of calling our home screen we can call our registration screen and then let's uh, stop the application and run it again So let's just wait for application to start up. So maybe let's uh, close what we are not using here. The application is starting. okay so we are loading our user icon but actually this is not what we want to show here so we need to show our open ai logo so uh, let's minimize this we need to come back to our services and asset manager and then here we can also just copy this then paste it here let's say uh, open a i logo and then what are we calling this that's uh open ai dash logo uh, let's just go back open ai and then logo then we can uh, 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 this is a jpg jpg yes and then we can just close this and then here we can call our open ai logo like that let's hot restart yeah that's what we want so next just after this container we can first go our sized box let's give it a height of 20 then below this size box we can go our text widget so for the text we will say register 
let's give this text some style which comes from text style so for the font size we can give it a font size of 22 and then for the font weight let's give it a bold font weight font weight dot bold and then uh, let's just have a look and see how this looks let's what we start okay that uh, look fine let's copy this uh, size box and after this text we can put another size box then maybe let's reduce this one to 10 and then let's copy this text again after this size box we can paste it and then here we can say um, add your add your phone number and then let's reply like it's the AI which is speaking to our user I will send you a verification code so let's hot restart there but our text is not looking fine let's just uh, reformat this for a bit uh, what we can do here is uh, we can add the alignment here the alignment property text alignment we can have uh, text alignment dot center then we can also reduce this font here to like 14 uh, that looks much better so after this text we can again copy this size box and then come down here paste it let's again increase this to 20 and then after here now we can have uh, our text field let's get the text form field this one let's hot restart here's our text form field let's just add some properties so first we're going to need the controller so let's go up here and initialize our controller say final let's just say text editing controller we'll say phone controller is equals to text editing controller and then uh, we can uh, come back here and then also just give it our phone controller and then next let's give it a maybe text input action text input uh, uh, text input action this will be done we only have one here and then let's give it a keyboard type text input type dot uh, number and then let's give it a uh, the uh maybe other on change or well, we can do that later let's give it some style which comes from uh, text style for that uh the font size let's give it 18 uh, the font weight let's say font weight 
dot bold let's uh, uh, maybe that's all for the styling next let's give it some decoration is that input decoration uh, let's uh, maybe the hint text hint text we will say and phone number let's also give it the hint style which also comes from a text style we'll give it the same font size to match with our text up there uh, maybe we can go back here and give it a uh, max length let's start with 10 